Hey, hello everyone. I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on Many Ways Films. In the video of today, I want to talk once more about the Nikon C8. This is a camera that I've had now for a couple of months. Uh, it's probably been four or five months. I, I actually think it's been like six months since I've had this camera now that I think about it. And like you could see in the title of this video, I want to talk about how this camera works for portrait photography. I uh, use this camera more than anything for wedding events, uh, parties, um, uh, different types of events. But more than anything, I end up doing portraits with this camera. Most of the pictures that you're going to be seeing are going to be for uh, those types of events. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that this is a camera that uh, works great in low light. Uh, so if you're worried about this camera not working really good in low light situations, I wouldn't worry about that. Especially if you have a lens that it's above a 2.8 aperture, let's say 2.8 or 2.4 or 1.8, which are the most popular uh, prime lenses that Nikon has. And if you have a zoom lens, uh, it could be a 28, 24 to 70 or 70 to 200, something like that. Uh, those lenses are going to work great for this uh, camera. So even more when it comes to daylight or uh, even situations when there's a, a ton of contrast, like the afternoons or when the sunset is going on, this is where I think this camera works the best. Uh, have in mind that Nikon and I mean I think by by this point it's like common knowledge that Nikon has the most beautiful colors uh, out of camera so when you go into Lightroom and you import these files go ahead and edit and edit those files they're gonna be um, really easy to edit those colors uh, pretty much adding some contrast uh, maybe saturation uh, changing the highlights, the shadows, and all that stuff. Um, you're going to end up with a really nice picture. So that's one of the things that I like the most about this camera is the colors and how nice um, they look. You're, you also have a lot of uh, flexibility when it comes to dynamic range. So if you are underexposed or even overexposed in this camera by two, three, four stops, you're still going to be fine. Uh, if you don't know a lot about the stops, it just means that like your picture is like, you know, more bright or it's brighter than it should have been or it's darker than it should have been. And sometimes you have to do those kinds of things. The way that I expose my pictures is always a little bit underexposed uh, and not overexposed. This is something that I think is very common on digital cameras and the Nikon C8 is no exception. Um, if you, I always try to expose for my subject. Uh, in this case, if it's a couple, if it's portraits, I'm gonna expose for them. You're gonna have a lot of flexibility uh, when it comes to uh, bringing back those shadows as well as the highlights, but more than anything, the shadow areas. Just uh, something to have in mind right there. One thing that people are always um, curious about is the autofocus. Uh, Nikon, it's a camera that it's been um, heavily criticized for its autofocus uh, in the past and maybe still today in their newer cameras like the Nikon C6, C7, C1 and 2 but when it comes to the Nikon C8 I can't talk about the Nikon C9 that much because I don't have one uh, but when it comes to the Nikon C8 which in theory should perform as good as the Nikon C9 um, it works very very well so I don't have any problems with uh, pictures out of focus or um, yeah, like I don't have problems with the autofocus. It, it, it stays, it's uh, sticky and um, it's just gonna work fine. Again, either if you are in a low light situation or a nice light situation. And to finish, I'd like to add that the Nikon lenses, especially for the C system, they just work really nice. Uh, especially the 50 millimeter lens that's probably my favorite lens out of all the Nikon lenses or uh, any focal length just the 50 millimeter is my favorite and then after that the 85 uh, those are just lenses that I love I feel like they're perfect for portraits some people like to use 35s 
I think that's good. That's fine. But the compression that the 50 gives you is just my favorite. Nice background. I uh, usually shoot at like 2.8. That's like my favorite. Sometimes at f4 i don't i'm not one that likes to have a 5.6 or a 1.8 something like that i usually stick with like 2.8 3.2 um f4 i mentioned this because even that i'm talking about the camera the nikon c8 for portraits uh well the nikon glass goes just like extremely well with this camera and um it's just not gonna fail you it's gonna focus well it's gonna give you really nice image overall colors the way that the camera works in in hand with these lenses is one that i that i just love and i'm fascinated with uh, you can adapt obviously uh, lenses to the nikon c8 right now i have a vintage uh, 35 millimeter lens this is a 2.5 it's the series e uh, just if you want to know and um, it's a soft lens i, I like it for you know uh, these types of videos um, it's a manual lens so as pro that's why um, it goes uh, out of focus uh, in this video but yeah you can adapt uh, lenses I love using uh, vintage lenses and I like to talk about in a future video which uh, vintage lenses I owe and I use with my Nikon uh, C system um, but yeah, it's something that I would recommend people to to do even or especially if you're doing portraits uh, Using vintage lenses. It's just gonna give it's just gonna give you a, a totally different look and That's something that I really like doing so uh, Overall this is a nice camera Nikon um, It's just a brand that I respect I like uh, the Nikon C8. It's a camera that I'm really happy with and when it comes to portrait photography for event photography, it's um, I think it's the one to go uh, really like out of all the Nikon cameras from, I don't know, the C30 to the Nikon C9. I think the Nikon C8 just hits uh, the sweet spot on what to use on like portraits or pretty much any kind of event. So if you have any questions, just let me know down here. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.